Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create the Gparted uh, partitioning tool or formatting and partitioning tool and it is a very powerful tool for formatting uh, hard drives, USB keys and basically anything that can plug into your computer. It does most file systems including all the Linux file systems and uh, Windows file systems so you know basically it's a, it's a partitioning tool that works on most things. Um, you know, there are some limits. I don't believe it does X, uh, fat or, or, uh, the Xbox format or the, uh, Wii format, uh, types, but you know, no big deal there. Uh, there are tools for that as well. Now, this is what it looks like, the G part of tool. And what I'm going to do is show you how to create this on a USB live, um, thumb drive. So basically what you're going to do is plug in your thumb drive, boot up your, um, computer using your thumb drive and, then you'll have this tool running which will be enable you to format your drives any way you want. Now there are many reasons for having that that uh, option. Uh, number one, it's outside of your operating system so if your computer is infected you need to format or something or uh, for some reason your, win your Windows machine or your computer is not uh, allowing you to format something. This tool bypasses all that by, be by booting up with its own operating system and I will show you how, to, how that works as well. Uh, like I said, Windows has a, fo a file formatting system. It's and uh, you know it works okay, but it, you know sometimes it hangs or it doesn't work right. This will fix. This will get you uh, by that, uh, and it's also more powerful in the sense that it allows you to do a lot of things that the Windows format tool does not. And I'll show you some of those features afterwards. So first, let's uh, let's go get it. We need two pieces of software. Uh, by the way, I'm using a, a four gig. Uh, USB thumb drive I picked up I think for like three dollars um, you know so you don't need anything really really spectacular so a, a cheap old four gig uh, a USB thumb drive if you can even find one anymore will do just fine now next thing we're gonna do is go get the software so uh, in a Google search just type in gparted I'm using uh, Chrome here so it automatically does a search and then we're gonna go here to live USB and the only thing you need to do is go here to installation uh, instructions and here it says you know download the ISO file well you need to, da to download the ISO file so we're going to click on that and then we're going to go down sc just scroll down a little bit and you see gparted live bootable image and you want to download the latest one, which currently is point, uh, is this one right here, the uh, point two two zero one. So just click on that, and then it, it'll redirect you to SourceForge. We'll just wait a few seconds here, and then you're going to download it to uh, wherever you want to uh, download it to. I'm going into my downloads directory because it makes sense. Um, I've already downloaded it for the brevity of this uh, video, so I don't have to uh, wait for this to download. Download it, and when you're done, follow up after me. So I'm just going to hit cancel here because I've already done that. Then you need another uh, piece of software called uh, Yummy, and it's a uh, boot, uh, USB boot uh, creating software. Again, it's free and it's really cool. So just type in into your search uh, Y-U-M-I and when you get it click on the Yummy Multiboot USB Creator then go to the Yummy then you're on the Yummy Multiboot USB Creator web page it looks like this it tells you all about it but really you don't really need to know too much about it I'm going to show you all you need to know then go to here to download Yummy and for brevity's, brevity's sake I already have I got the 2.0 uh, one six version here, so I'm assuming you're going to put it in your downloads directory or wherever you remember to put it. I'm going to, you know, hit cancel here. So now we have the two pieces of software we need, and I'm going to go to the file browser, and then down to my computer here, computer, and you'll notice that it lists all your drives, just for you know the sake of uh, knowing what you're doing. You'll need to see that the removal drive is your is my E drive. And it's only four gigs, so that's my USB thumb drive. You know, verify that you're working with the right drive. You don't want to format the wrong drive, like your system drive 
or your backup drives or anything like that. You don't want to do that. So I'm just going to take out the drive for a second. And you hear it go da-da, and it disappears. So that, that way is, is an easy way of knowing which drive you're dealing with. Okay, so there it is. It's drive E, and obviously it's empty. So, uh, you know, you, you can have it empty or not. I suggest that you format it. And, uh, you know, if you right-click it, actually, if you select it, right-click it, you'll get the option to format it, but I assume you already know how to do that. So I'll minimize this. Um, actually, I'm not minimize it. I'll open it up again. We go to the downloads where we stored all our files. And we're going to double click on Yummy. Now, mine is coming up with the user account control asking me if I want to proceed. I'm going to say yes. You probably don't see that, but if you get it, just to say yes. Okay, and here you get the license agreement. Of course, we're going to agree to that. And it doesn't really install the program, it just runs it. So now you have the option to, uh, uh, you know, all the options that Yummy gives you to create a boot USB key. Now this this is an awesome tool. It's really powerful. It, it, it's not the only, you know, G Part is one of the 50 uh, live USB uh, keys it can make. But we're going to deal with G Part only right now. The partitioning tool. You scroll down on the uh, select drive and you see that E is is the option. Now, you know, if it doesn't show you that, you can you can choose choose all. But notice that you you get into the C drive and other drives that you know you don't want to format. So just, you know, go with the default setting here and you're more than likely going to get the right drive. I know mine is E. You should know what the letter for your drive is. Now, if you want at this point, you can tell it to format uh, the drive as well. I don't need to because mine's already formatted, but if you want to format it, it will erase everything on your drive. So next you see that it's it's got a list uh, you know, it says step two, select the distribution to put on your drive E. So I'm going to put in G parted. So scroll down to until you hit the um, system tools. And in here you'll see under system tools, there's system tools, uh, G parted partition tool. So click on that. Now you can click the visit G parted homepage, you know, or, or click on download link. And, you know, it'll, it'll launch the web page where I showed you to go, but uh, you know, I, I don't think if that's all reliable, all that reliable, but it's up to you. Okay. But once you choose the G part partition tool, then it's going to ask you, well, I, you know, pending, I, I need a G part live ISO. Well, we know we downloaded it. So we're going to show, we're going to click on browse. Mine's automatically going to the download directory. You go navigate to where you downloaded it. Then you choose the G part live ISO and we hit open. Then you hit create and this will, you know, at this point, if you've chose, chosen to format it, I haven't, but it'll create this on, on your E drive, which is your, your thumb drive. So I'm going to click on that. So, you know, it gives you a breakdown of what it's going to do next. You know, it says, I'm going to do all this stuff. And if you, you know, are you absolutely positive? You know, well, I am. If you're not, then don't go ahead with that. So let's do anything. And it does put a label on it called multi-boot so you can understand what it's called when you're looking at it in the file browser. Okay, so let's click on next. And now it says, would you like to add more distributions on E? Well, no, but if you want to, you could. So I'm gonna say no. And it says yummy has completed the installation so i'm all finished so at this point what we're going to do is i'm going to reboot the computer um, in rebooting the computer there's several different options that you can uh, get or use to get to your uh, what they call the boot selecting menu uh, this is an hp so i'm going to hit, be hitting f9 uh, if you don't know what yours is just go and do another search on google here And next, we're going to reboot, and uh, I'm going to show you how to um, get into your boot selection menu, at least on an HP. It may be different for your computer. Like I said, it could be escape key, one of your function keys. Find out what it is for your computer. 
Okay, we're at the boot screen on my computer, the HP, and you'll see on the lower right it says Escape for startup menu. Well, uh, yours may be different. It might be F1, F2, F9, whatever. I'm just going to hit Escape. And there you get the startup menu, and you have, uh, you know, several options. Uh, number one, the, the one we want is the boot device options. So we're going to hit F9, and then you get your options. Uh, you know, CD, DVD, ROM, notebook, hard drive, and the Kingston Traveler, Data Traveler, which is my USB. So we scroll down to it and hit Enter. And then you get the yummy multi-boot USB if all goes well and it'll boot automatically in 25 seconds. Well, I'm just going to choose uh, by scrolling down to System Tools. And there you see Gparted Live, the only one that we put in. So hit Enter on that. And then you have the default settings. We'll hit Enter again. Takes a little bit. There we go. I'm going to go with all the defaults on the boot. It uh, should be good for most computers. And basically it's just booting up and uh, probing your system. My system anyway. All right. It says don't, you know, get, ask you a bunch of questions about key maps and so on. Just hit enter through them all. Use all the defaults. Again, defaults, defaults. Just keep keep hit, hitting enter or enter three times and you'll get in. All right, and there's the desktop for the QParted tool. And it is uh, actually running at this point and uh, what it's doing is doing a device scan. It's looking for all the drives on your system. And that's what it's found and you can see um, you know that I have two partitions there. Uh, one of them is NTFS actually two of them up here you can see the listing down here two of them are NTFS the other are, the other is an extended one with ext4 in it that's my Linux partition um, again you know mine's a special case yours probably won't have that uh, and if you want to look at the listings of, of actual devices just come over here to the right click on the down and you'll see that it shows you both uh, drives that are in the machine currently and that is the uh, one uh, terabyte drive that I have in the 4 gig USB uh, key and you just click on the one you want and it selects it. Now you don't want to format your USB key because that's what's holding this program. And you don't want to format this drive because that's your system drive. So I'm just going to plug in another drive and it'll be an 8 gig uh, USB key. Now this program won't automatically sense it so what you need to do is go over here to Gparted and then choose device, uh, sorry, choose refresh. Uh, if you look down here you'll see your devices it tells you uh, SDA and is the 931 gigabyte one terabyte drive and then SDB is the 3.4 gigabyte uh, USB drive. Don't worry about the naming structures just understand that you should know the sizes of your drives so you know what you're dealing with. So I'm just going to click on uh, refresh devices here and it's going to scan all the drives again and when it's done, we're going to go look at that uh, new USB drive that it finds. Okay, so we go back over here to the listings. You know, it doesn't matter. You can go to Gparted over here too, to devices too. And you see that it found an 8 gig drive. It'll be the same here. So I'm just going to choose that. And you see that this is an unknown uh, partition type. Well, that's because I, I formatted it specially using a Wii machine. So it's not going to be known, but uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete it and create a new uh, partition. So just highlight it, and you can see that you get the dotted line around the partition. You could have just clicked here too, you would have gotten the same thing. Okay, and if you double click on it, it tells you all about it. So um, what we're going to do here is go to partition, and we're going to click on delete. And now understand when you delete, it's going to delete everything on that drive. So if there's any data on that drive you want, it's gone. So, but it doesn't do it until you hit apply. So be doubly sure that what you're dealing with is correct. So just hit apply. There we go. And it says uh, it's completed successfully. It'll tell you the details here if you want to look. 
right? And you keep drilling down, it'll tell you all the details of what it did. So basically it formatted it. Not formatted, but deleted it. So at this point it's got to recalibrate, so it's going to do another partition search. And once it's done doing this, then you can format it any way you want. So if you let's go up here and go to uh, uh, not device, but I guess, yeah, uh, you, can, you can create a partition table. There are tools, too. You can attempt a data re rescue as well. Um, you know, there's a lot of different uh, options up here, but I'm just going with a basic. So I'll just hit new again, and it says, well, maximum size is the full drive. So that's what I'm going to do. It's showing, showing pr primary partition, and it says file system. It's defaulting to the Linux. Uh, I'm going to choose the FAT32. And then uh, if you want to label it, you just say USB key or something, label it whatever you want. All right, good enough. And now all you have to do is hit apply. And it will create that partition for you. If you want to see the details, just click on details over here. Drill down through it, and it'll tell you every step of what it did. And it's successful on all of them. So it says all operations successfully completed. Hit OK, hit close. And then again, it has to recalibrate every time you do a partition change to any one of the drives. So just let it do that. All right. And then back here to the partition options, you see, uh, actually, you have, to, you have to highlight the partition you're working on. So I'm going to do that. And here, you're going to go to the partition options, and you see you have the size to re you have the option to resize it, uh, copy it, format it to any partition type you want. Take your pick. All of those are available, um, and you can also check it. So let's click on check here. And as with everything else, you're, when you click on something on this uh, tool, you're only queuing it up. You have to click apply, or you can click undo if you want to undo that uh, uh, function or that uh, um, you know request. So I'm going to hit apply here. And are you sure? Of course I do. I am going to hit apply again. And it's going to check the drive. Now, if you want to see what it did, again, just expand the... the uh, uh, check details and you'll see all the different details um, about what it actually just did. So it's very, very um, friendly as far as telling you what's going on and what it's found and what it doesn't find. And, uh, you know, also you see the left, to the right all the check marks, meaning that it passed everything. So I'll just hit close on this. Again, I'll leave the tool up to you to explore. Uh, at this point, the uh, only other thing you need to know is how to shut it down. So just right click on the screen anywhere or go to the uh, exit button here. So we'll click on the exit button. You probably can't even see the exit button. No, you can't. So there's. So yeah, there we go. We got the uh, reboot or uh, shutdown options. Another way of doing that is uh, just right clicking on the screen and choosing the uh, shutdown option. So that's it for the Q part at the. Uh, partition uh, tool. I hope that helped you out and uh, happy computing. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.